This video is about the process of embryo twinning. Embryo twinning happens all the time in nature, and in nature it's the process that gives us identical twins. However, it can also be used as a form of cloning in which the offspring are genetically identical to each other. So in other forms of cloning, the offspring are genetically identical to a parent, but in this process, embryo twinning, the offspring are genetically identical, they're identical twins with each other. So in nature, right, the female's egg meets the male's sperm and it develops into an embryo. In utero, which means in the uterus, that at an early stage, that embryo is just going to sort of separate farther from each other and now you've got two separate embryos that are going to develop, develop over time into two genetically identical calves. So see, identical twins. However, we can use the same process in the lab through a process called artificial embryo twinning. And this is a process in which you breed in vitro um, a female with the best traits in my lovely diagrams here. She has a nice big body and nice big udders with a super male, so a male with some great traits like maybe some nice big horns. But instead of them mating naturally and um, having internal fertilization, the egg and the sperm of our desired parents are put into a petri dish where they are fertilized and develop, divide, divide into an embryo. And then, instead of letting nature pull the, that embryo apart, we actually use a knife and we go in and we slice the embryo into pieces and put each of those pieces into their own petri dish. Given time, they will develop into greater embryos. And finally, we take those embryos that are genetically identical and insert them into surrogate mothers. Surrogates are just female cows that do not contribute genetically to the offspring, but they're just sort of the place where, uh, they're the uterus, they're the oven where our bread bakes, right? They're the uterus by which, or in which the baby cow, the calf will grow and develop and she will be the actual cow that births the calves. So we have surrogates and they are carrying our genetically identical cows and then, hooray, given time, um, are born two super twins. They're genetically identical to each other. They carry the best characteristics from the mom and from the dad. And that's the process of artificial embryo twinning.